Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today is another episode of some WHA action as today we got a big matchup between the San Diego Mariners and the, and the Indianapolis Racers as we got a Eastern versus Western Division matchup. Of course, we got the Mariners who are faced in second right now as they have a 9-5-3 record as they are just two points behind the Alberta Cougars. So a pretty good position for them right now, uh, but the Alberta Cougars, they are playing against the Phoenix Roadrunners as well tonight uh, as they look to stay atop of the division. And as well as the Indianapolis Racers, uh, they're 6-1 in, or they're 7-7-3 seven, seven with 23 points on the year. Um, so they are far a ways back from being near the Raiders, but they are fourth in the division in a nice ball card spot. And if they win tonight's game, they will jump in to third in the division, uh, which will be very nice. But that's the Quebec Nordique spot, but they're going to be facing the Calgary Cowboys. So, what, what's some action for the past couple of days? Um, we got about to the 17th game, which I think that for the next game, we're going to be simulating a lot more uh, than what I did because of the fact that we're practically only a month away from NHL 20. Uh, I'm going to be making, or NHL 21, I mean, I'm going to be making a, a content video on what I'll be making uh, for YouTube videos and stuff like that on NHL 21, but that'll be much later on. But let's get into talking about uh, this little past bit, uh, the past couple of weeks, uh, what's been the big names, um, of course, Jonathan Drouin's been lethal, but I gotta say, one of the more scarier teams in the league right now are the Alberta Cougars. The Alberta Cougars are on just a devastating trail right now. They have a three-game winning streak. Um, even coming in, they had two in a row uh, ties, and they just kind of kicked it up into another gear. Uh, Victor arvidsson has been playing great for them. They've really been performing really well, and uh, of course, they sit atop of the Western Division where the, the Cowboys and the Birmingham Bulls used to dominate. Now, the Cowboys are in a wild card spot with 27 points, um, two points behind the Phoenix Roadrunners, who as well are doing pretty damn well uh, for themselves as well. So uh, that is very exciting for them. Uh, and, and also not just that, the New York Raiders. Uh, they've been doing very well. They haven't taken a single uh, regulation loss since October 12th. And it's uh, now it's fucking November 16th. They haven't lost a regulation game in over a month now. They are 10-2-6 with 36 points on the year. And they're dominating the, the um, WHA right now. The New York Raiders have been one of the best teams for sure in the WHA. They've definitely been one of the more exciting teams. And, and also the Phoenix Roadrunners. We got to talk about them. This has been a team that's on a four-game winning streak. They're facing the Cougars tonight, which is definitely going to be a big matchup for them because if they win tonight's game, they get an inch closer um, to... Actually, they, they will tie up with the Alberta Cougars. Um, but the biggest reason why this team has been doing so well is their offense. Jonathan Drouin has just been so explosive. 22 points, leading the league in points uh, with his teammate Bo Horvat behind him. Uh, he's just been absolutely scary to watch. And we've seen him in the last game, how good Jonathan Drouin has been for the Roadrunners. And I'm excited to see what he will do and continue for the Phoenix Roadrunners as we head closer and closer to trade deadline and stuff like that. Uh, and not just that, there's also been another great team which we get to see tonight, and that's the San Diego Mariners. Jonathan, Jonathan Tavares has just been absolutely scary. Now, the Mariners, they have been losing a couple games. They lost against the Cowboys and the Road Runners. Uh, they got a big win against the Bulls, and now they face the Racers, Whalers, and the Stingers. So, some teams that are out of the playoffs right now and a team that's in a wild card spot. So, uh, And then they're also facing the Houston Arrows and the Blades, old teams that are either in a wild card spot or in a playoff position. Uh, are out of a playoff spot. So I think the Mariners' time is to really take advantage of it now while you have a weak schedule. And they have been. Jack Hughes has just been brilliant. He is out of the lineup, but he's just been absolute stellar for the team. And not just that, John Tavares with 12 goals 
uh, and 16 points on the season, almost a point per game. He has been absolutely scary to watch, and I'm hoping that he will pick up that offense coming towards uh, this game between the Racers and the San Diego Mariners. Uh, the Racers, on the other hand, they need a big victory here tonight. They want to start gaining some more momentum, and they have been. They're getting, they've been getting some wins, um, but their past couple ones, they, they lost against the Cougars, they lost against the Bulls, and they lost against the Highlanders. They got a big win against the Crusaders the other night, but now they got to go up against the Mariners, Nordiques, Cougars, Raiders, and the Roadrunners. They're facing up against a lot of good teams, and you got to start seeing that point production. They they have not. Their leading guy is right now Kasperi Kapp, and him. Uh, they have not really been seeing too much from Pedersen, only 9 points in 14 games. Now, he did miss a couple games, but he really has to start picking up the slack for the team. He's the all-star uh, for this Racers team, and it seems like he has not been producing uh, very much. So we'll see if the, the Racers will be able to get themselves going uh, against the Mariners as we're going to be heading down to the game between the Mariners and the Racers. It's in uh, San Diego, so it should be a fun one. So let's head down to the play-by-play -play with Peyton to get this game all started up. Well, hello, everyone. Uh, apparently, my game is going to be a piece of shit. Uh, my controllers died on me, so I can't get the intro for you guys. Uh, but beforehand, we are we're going to be talking about this big game as we got the game between the Racers and the San Diego Mariners, um, which should be a very exciting one. We'll take a look at the starting goaltenders on the side for the Racers. We have starting goaltender John Gibson, who over the past couple games, he has not been doing very good. 7-7 seven and seven on the year. He's been the main starting goaltender for the uh, the Racers. He has really not been the biggest guy for the Indianapolis Racers, but they are in a wild card spot. Definitely not a spot where you want to be because you do have to do uh, a best of three series. And then on the other side, you got Ryan Miller, who has been absolutely stellar for the San Diego Mariners and putting up some very good numbers um, but you got the two top lines out there it's the Mariners versus the Racers uh, as uh, the Mariners they're looking to continue to climb up the standings and to keep the Cowboys away that's the biggest goal is to not be in a wild card position and I mean it wouldn't be the worst but you don't want to be facing the best team in the league that that's without a doubt you don't want to be facing either the Raiders or the Cougars right that's that's the biggest thing you do not want to be facing one of those teams and that's the way that the Racers are thinking about it tonight they want to get a win so they can face the Highlanders which is a hard going to be a hard matchup Jamie Ben had the bucket just destroyed I think that was fucking Nyquist my lord, what a hit. But a uh, save there for Gibson to start the game off. Here for the Mariners, it is uh, not looking like too bad of a start for the team. And I, you got to continue that momentum here for the Mariners. They've been kind of on a little bit of a losing streak. And, you know, they pick up some wins here and there. But they got to start picking up some more. Slapping from the point. Big block shot there uh, for the Racers. And a long pass there by Vatten as Kappen and passes it back to Getzlaff. Kapanen gets it back. He's looking over to Stetcher, but he gets pushed off the puck. Now Brat oh, back over to Stetcher. Getzloff gets it back up to Stetcher. Ooh, that was almost offside, but it kept it in. Batten slap shot blocked, and now the Mariners are. Oh no, tripping! As what a stupid penalty there. They had him, and then someone decided to poke, and uh, it caused a tripping penalty as Jesper Brat goes to the box, and a fan with a sign saying "Time to retire." To Jesper Bratt as uh, he will be heading to the box there for the Racers. That is a bad penalty for the Racers to start the game off. And you know how potent this this Mariners offense is. It's a scary one to, to face up against, especially when John Tavares is out there. Good chance there by Palmieri. He gets it again. One-timer blocked there by... Uh, Number 73, Palmieri gets it again, and Kyle Palmieri buries into the back of the net on the power play. And that is a big one there for the Mariners as they, they get off to a hot, hot start. And that's the type of start you want to get off to, man. You, you get a big goal for your team, and uh, perfect start for them as the... Uh, the fucking man and i don't i can't remember his name who fucking went, brat oh my god i'm having massive brain farts apparently today i, I just really cannot think it, it, it always happens during the video though it always happens Some, sometimes i just fucking forget who it is or whatever but 
Uh, one nothing for the Mariners. Great start for them, and, and that's the type of start you want to get off to, right? You want to get off to that quick goal, and that's what they did there. Big power play for them as the Mariners looking to get another one up on the board. As Sanheim, he carries it. Gets over to Michael Fearland, and he tucks that right on in there, and it goes up 2 nothing for the San Diego Mariners. My lord, what a start. His fifth goal of the season. The Mariners, they're putting out of a fucking... Look at that nice pass. It was so beautiful. And as I think that's McAvoy. You got to be on that guy. You got to be playing hard on Michael Fearland, making sure he doesn't get that chance. And you just let that chance left wide open as uh, Michael Fearland takes advantage of that and puts up his fifth goal of the season. And that's a big one for him. As a faceoff win, Gosses Bear over to Neo Nieder Rider. He's carrying it up. Over to Gustav Nyquist. Good shot there and a save there by Ryan Miller. Fabro over to Slavin. Back over to Fabro. He gets it picked off though. Neo Nieder Rider looking around. Pass over to Nyquist. Back down. Oh, what a great chance there by Pedersen. And Miller will freeze up the puck. Making sure nothing else will happen. As a big save there by the Milster. As uh, he gets a big one there. My lord, what a good chance there. And a big blocker save there by Ryan Miller. As, uh, man, live, what a huge save there. Making huge saves for the, uh, the Mariners already. As uh, the Racers, they have not been getting very much action. As you guys can see there, a 6-3-1 record in the last 10 there for the Mariners. They have been red hot over the past couple of games. Definitely not the last couple, but, I mean, they won their last game. I think they lost the last two. Uh, but, yeah. As that gets chipped all the way down the ice there. As the racers, they seem to just be panicking right now. They they can't get going. and They're not able to get a proper flow going for themselves. It seems like they just, they're not passing the puck properly. One timer there and they're not able to play defense either. As They, they may make a nice block there as Gossip Bear. He's like, I, they can't fucking make a pass. So I'll take it. Oh, great chance there. But that missed the net wide. As now the Mariners, they're taking that puck up. As now Jamie Ben he has it. And Teovo Tervinen's with him. Tervinen over to Tavares. He takes a nice chance looking for his 13th of the season. As McAvoy, he's carrying it back up. Looking around. Oh, and he gets pushed off the puck there. Big hit. Flurry over to Johnny T. Oh, and that got picked off there. Good pick off there by Jesper Bratt. He takes a nice chance there. Rebound, another save there by Ryan Miller. He's making some big ones as the Mariners are turning the puck over at some bad times. Palmieri over to Flurry. Good chance at Palmieri with his second goal of the season already. And it is 3-0 San Diego. Oh, my Lord. His second goal of the year. With, uh, man, Palmieri is feeling it tonight. He hasn't had very many goals, but he's getting some goals now as he picks up that juicy fucking... I don't think it was a rebound, was it? Let's see that replay again, EA. Let's see that replay again. He shot it. Actually, it was like practically a pass to Palmieri. Like, legit, it was like a pass to Palmieri. And they, they, it looked like he was looking for the shot, but... Um, nice play there by Hayden Fleury making a nice fucking pass to Palmieri and getting the uh, big goal there for the Mariners already. 3 nothing for the Mariners as we only have 7 minutes left in the first period and another chance here for Kyle Palmieri as he's looking for it. How do you know? And he turns it over as the Racers. Good forecheck there as uh, Palmieri, I mean the defenseman was skating hard back to make sure he didn't make that. Nice pass and Troy Stetcher from the point gets one for himself as well. Oh my lord, the uh, the racers, they finally get a goal there as Troy Stetcher puts up one or his second goal of the season. But is that enough to stop the momentum of the Mariners is the big question there. And that, that's going to be the real big question. Will the momentum stop here from the racers uh, after this goal, or will they continue, uh, will be the biggest question here for the Indianapolis Racers. Is uh, they got to keep on performing, and they got to keep putting up shots on the net after that one. That was a good shift there, good forecheck, stopping the play from Palmieri and getting a big goal for yourself. That's what you got to do. You got to continue that offense, though. With Stetcher to Nyquist, good chance there, and Miller making a nice save there. Cannot believe that got through. Is now Pedersen has it. Oh, and he gets decked off the puck, man. Jesus, what a big hit. And now Niederreiter looking around. Oh, and he gets picked off the puck as Bertuzzo. He has it. He's carrying it up. Looking around. He gets past the defender. Oh, Larkin. Big rebound and another save there by 
or I mean there wasn't even another save there it just got picked up by the defenders as Nyquist he has it back over oh Neo Niederreiter and Neo Niederreiter now cuts the deficit down to one what a goal scoring display between the Mariners and the Racers two teams that are uh, fighting for playoff spots right now and especially during this time where we're almost halfway through the season um you you got to be pushing for some playoff spots and racers they're absolutely doing that after a bad start they're fighting back in this game as they get a big goal there what a goal there by new new rider he looked like he fumbled the puck a little bit and looked like ryan miller was uh looking for that chance but you got to play defense there mariners i mean like legit you got to shut that guy down don't let him get that chance off as texier to clifford good sh Good job shutting down that play as Braun, he has it now. He's carrying it up over to Nash. Carrying it in. Looking around. Over to Braun. Justin Braun. He says, shut the fuck up, racers, and puts one in the back of the net. Oh, my Lord. Six goals in the first period. Third goal of the season by Justin Braun. I think we're going to be breaking some WHA records right now. Oh, W-H-A. Yeah, I think I said that. I can't remember. But we're looking like we're going to be breaking some records. It's already 4-2 for the Mariners in just the first period. And what a nice pass there. Just sets up Justin Braun. And John Gibson, man, what's with him? He just cannot save a single puck tonight from what it seems like. Every time the Mariners gets it off their stick, they it goes in the back of the net. And uh, the coach decides not to make a goalie change, which is a very weird change for me. Because if I was the coach, I would definitely be making a, a goalie change right away. Because it looks like John Gibson really just is not himself tonight. Again, and he's looking like he's really struggling. It's Nash trying to get it off his Ernie. He now has it over to Texier. Texier carrying it up. A little bit of a toe drag. Over to Ernie. Back over to Clifford. Good chance there. And Miller, he makes a stoppage there. And a big save there. Paul Mieri, one goal away from Hattie. And, and I mean, really, he is. He could possibly get it. It's only the first period in, and he already has a chance to get a fucking hat trick, man. It's this crazy game already as a face-off win there for the Mariners. I don't think there's going to be anything really generated as that is the ending of the first period. What a goal-scoring first period for sure as we've seen six goals being put up in the first period, which is just absolutely crazy uh, to see that amount of goals in the first period. Like, <laughs> insane. Uh, Paul Mieri putting up to himself. Uh, you had Stetcher get one for the Racers to start everything off for them and then Neil Niederreiter. Uh, but we're going to be heading off to the first intermission report with Peyton. Welcome everyone to the first intermission report and what a first period between the Mariners and the Racers as the fans are getting a treat. And I'm hoping you guys are, are enjoying this treat as we started everything off with a power play goal and just a bad penalty there by Brat. But then right afterwards, a minute after, Michael Fearlin put up another one and then Kyle Palmieri. And then two minutes after, Troy Stetcher got one. And then Neil Niederreiter and then Justin Braun giving that two-goal cushion once again um, to the Mariners. Palmieri with two of his first goals in the WHA. And man, this is definitely a great way to start off this game. It has been an even game between the Mariners and the Racers. The Racers really started pushing back um, near the end of that period. But then, of course, the Mariners shut them down. 10-9 um, for shots for the Mariners. Like I said, very even. Time on attack. The Racers actually had more time on attack than what the Mariners had. And uh, that one dumb penalty by the Racers. But, I mean, the face-off draw has been absolutely dominated by the Mariners. 9-3 to three for face-offs for the Mariners. They have really been putting up a clinic in this game. And... I got, I got to give it to Kyle Palmieri. What a game he's been having and just making some real nice plays and especially the defense of Travis Sanheim, Hayden Flurry, and Fabro and stuff like that. They might not be playing the best defensively as they let up some good goals and Neo Niederreiter, of course, getting his ninth. What a season for Niederreiter. Damn, boy. Nine goals on the season? Damn, Neo. Um, but yeah, it's been a very good first period between these two teams. I even want to just get right back to the action, which is what we're going to be doing because I'm not going to waste my time talking about this game. Let's get back to the ice as the ice is all ready to go between this exciting game between the Mariners and the Racers. Sorry guys, a fucking 
huge loogie in the back of my throat, but we're back for the uh, the second period here between the Mariners and the Racers. And my lord, is it ever hot in my dorm room today? Like I am sweating my balls off right now. Jesus Christ! As uh, we got an exciting game between the Mariners and the Racers, I want to focus on this baby because this game has been already a fun one. Six goals in the first period, and uh, we're going to be continuing it uh, here today. So, oh, and a slap shot from the point. Sam, uh, Sam, I'm getting a big one. There for the Mariners. Now they go up 5-2 for the Mariners. And what a clapper from the point. And uh, wow, what a game. Damn, bro. <laughs> what a goal from Travis. And I'm giving the lead to the Mariners. 5-2. Um, wow, what a game already. 5-2 and a goal. Two minutes in to the second period here between the Mariners and and the racers as it's uh the first goal of the, his career here in the wha for travis sandheim so what a great start for that young guy as uh, sandheim's been playing absolutely lethal making some really nice passes for the mariners and doing everything he possibly can as jamie man trying to get it off but got poked off the puck by goss's bear as uh goss's bear just being unfucking touched and carrying up the puck and chipping it in for Sanheim and Sanheim gets absolutely plastered up against the boards as now gets off over to Troy Stetcher who got the first goal and he he, he fucking um, gets a penalty called as Jamie Benn will be going to the box and that's a big one there for the racers they really need to kind of slow their play down now and Troy Stetcher great job just taking it to him taking it to him you know he's a big guy he's he's gonna do something and Stetcher's fast so Good smart play there by Troy Stetcher pushing the tempo and uh, big call there for the racers as now they will be going on the power play trying to to get a goal here. That's what they're going to be focusing on as uh, the first thing first. It gets chipped all the way down the ice and picked up by Brat Matthias Janmark. He has now carrying it up. Pass over to Nino Nino Ryder looking for his 10th of the season maybe. Nino Nino Ryder dangling around looking for somebody to be open. Makes a bad pass there. He gets right back and he gets pushed off the puck. And that will be dumped all the way down the ice once again. As Vatanen over to Jeff Carter, over to Janmark. Long pass over to Neo Nino Ryder. Toe drag, snaps it. Oh, and that missed the net. That was a great opportunity there again. And the puck is dumped all the way down the ice once again. And that is picked up by Jesper Bratt. Bratt over to Ryder. Over to Janmark. Janmark carrying up the puck, looking around. Passes up to Vatten and slap shot. Okay, Jeff Carr right and rebound and Miller dives out to stop the play there. And that was smart there by Ryan Miller just diving out to make it a stoppage of play. And it was a smart play by Miller. Good play. As now Pedersen going up against Dylan Larkin and a big face off win by the Mariners. But they are able to get it back as now gets off. Over to Gosses Bear. Slap shot. Tip. Oh, and Gustav Nyquist gets a big one there for the Racers. And they cut the deficit once again down the two. As Gustav Nyquist on the power play gets his fifth goal of the season. And that is a big one there for the Racers. As, wow, what a game. As uh, Nyquist getting it close once again. Two goal deficit, man. Like I, I said in the intermission report, I mean, anything can happen. And especially there, I mean... You get a penalty called, and the momentum really starts swinging back towards the racers, maybe. As uh, maybe will they be able to, is going to be the big question, to stop the Mariners' goal-scoring power. Because that's been the biggest thing. The racers, they get that momentum, but then they just cannot stop the Mariners from scoring goals. So we'll have to see what they do now, um, is if they will be able to continue that goal-scoring, or will they be stopped as uh, Larkin, great chance here, snipes it as Gibson makes a nice flash to the leather. And I'm surprised even Gibson's still in the net. Because if I was the coach, I would be thrown out to Dumni or whatever the fuck, Louis Dumnico or whatever fucking, fucking name his, his name is. I can't remember. Um, but why wouldn't you throw that guy out? Because I think he would be a perfect opportunity to get out there. You have a good goalie in him and, and you know what he's going to be capable of. I would definitely be throwing him out, but um, the Racers are deciding to keep John Gibson out there. I mean, he's been playing all season long. He's played like legit all 17 other games. So it's a little bit weird for the Racers here. Nice chance there and a big save there by Ryan Miller. 
flashing the leather there and making a big save is now the Mariners over to Palmieri. Up to the point to Sanheim. He's circling around, chips it down. Oh, and that's picked up by McAvoy. Over to Jesper Bratt. Bratt carrying it up. Over to Mikhiliev. Sanheim over to Tavares. He has it now, carrying the puck up. Looking around, Tavares waiting. Snipes it. Good save there by Miller. Is now the, the pressure uh, for the racers. They got to keep making some big saves and keep that pressure going. Bratt, good chance there. Big save there by Miller. Up to the point to Stetcher. Vatanen over to Clifford. Stetcher from the point, stop shot, oh and they tweaked in, oh what a goal there for the racers and another goal for Stetcher as he gets his second goal of the season, that was just an unlucky bounce to be honest with you, it just a very unlucky bounce but I mean get it any way you want it, it went off of Fabro and uh, you could see he was pissed off and the jet went right off of him and went right into the back of the net and trickled right in there and I don't think even Miller knew um, because I think it was going to hit him. Um, and then legit, when it hit Fabro, it dipped right down and just kind of slowly trickled into the back of the net. And that cuts it down to a one-goal deficit with eight minutes left here in the second period. As it is a close one as the Mariners are looking to get back this uh, this lead again as they, they gave it up. And now it's almost racer's momentum now as Ernie with the number 69 carrying it up. As Fabro gets pushed off the puck, Texier gets it. The, the the depth here for the racers, they're they're pushing the tempo right now, man. Batten and down to the point. Picked up there. Batten and gets it back. He walks right in. Good chance. Miller makes a big save there for the Mariners. And he's going to have to. He's going to have to make some big saves here for their team. As uh, Ernie. As, uh, oh yeah, fucking Ernie just gets squished into the boards there by Fleury. Sacrificing his own body to make a nice play as Pedersen. Uh, he, uh, he's going up against the, the fourth line as it looks like they're trying to keep throwing that offense. But Sam Gagne almost turned it over, but he was able to uh, take it back as they, he chips it in. And that's picked up by Batten, but a big hit there by Sam Gagne. Sam Gagne has it now up to Braun. Slap shot from the point, and that just missed the net. Great opportunity there. Uh, that just missed it as Gustav Nyquist, he's carrying it up. Over to Pedersen. Pedersen has it as he's being pushed up against the boards. As that gets pushed out to Hayden. Hayden over to Sam Gagne. He chips it down the ice. Dump and chase a little bit. Hard on him, boys. Oh, and another big hit there. This is the way that the Mariners need to play right now. They need to pick up that physicality and not... I mean, they're not going to play that well. They play better when they're physical. And a great defensive play as Braun picks off that one-timer. As Fearland over to Nash. Nice chance there and a save there by Gibson. As Nash wraps around... Takes a little shot there on Gibson. Another save there. Fabro. One timer and another big save there by Gibson. Robbing Fearland with 18.9 seconds left for the Mariners. As Stetcher is also one goal away from a Hattie. As I'm really looking forward to see Palmieri maybe score a hat trick tonight. As maybe we could see one here with a little bit left. Slavin over to Sanheim. Over to back over to Slavin. Sanheim from the point. Over to Larkin. Rebound and a nice chance there is Gibson. He uh, makes another save with 2.7 seconds left in the second period. As uh, we're going to be heading it over to the, uh, the intermission report here soon. As uh, the Mariners, they are playing very, very good right now as they face off win McAvoy and he chips it all the way down the ice. Smart play by him. And uh, just some smart plays here for the, the Mariners. And I mean, it was kind of a rough period here for the Mariners. It seems like the Racers were able to take back that, almost that lead. Uh, actually, they didn't ever even had a lead in this game yet as uh, it's down to a one goal deficit here in the second period as we're going to be handing it up to Peyton for our second intermission report. Well, it's been in a very exciting second period between the Racers and the Mariners. Welcome everyone back to the second intermission report as it has been a fun game between the Racers and the Mariners just to be just to let that out there. Uh, 19 to 16 for shots for the Mariners. Um, it, it, for st statistical wise, it seems like the Mariners might win this game. They dominate in the faceoff draw. They are dominating hits. They are shooting the puck uh, a little bit more than the racers. They are pretty much even in that category. But the time on attack is so much different and really shows how much the racers are really pushing the tempo of the offense in this game between the racers and the Mariners tonight. They have really been playing really well and they need to continue 
that push offensively here for the racers um otherwise uh what a big period for the the racers as they started off rough and i'm two minutes in getting a big goal for himself his first goal in the wha um it, it was a great start and then jamie ben took a penalty three minutes after that and gusem nyquist got a big goal on the power play even though it looked like the power play wasn't going to be too successful for the racers uh and then of course you have Troy Stetcher getting that very lucky bounce uh for the racers as well it was absolutely so lucky it was absolutely bonkers how crazy it was and how that went to the back of the net but the Mariners they definitely played well but not as well as the racers the racers definitely picked up the tempo in that second period and they need to continue that momentum going towards the third period but my biggest tip is they need to start winning face-offs they need to start hitting more, and they need to start shooting that puck a lot more. Ryan Miller is definitely not the greatest goalie in the league, and you could definitely tweak some goals past him. We have seen that. Just get shots on the net, and that's going to be the biggest thing, and that's the same with the Mariners. John Gibson has been very shaky all game long, and I would have thought that the Racers might change up their goaltender to go with Dum Nagee. Um, to go with him right now Gibson has a 737 save percentage and his goals against average is 750 he has been struggling tonight only making 14 saves out of the 19 shots so Gibson really needs to step up and it's really going to be who makes the next big mistake coming towards this third period so let's head it back down to ice level with Peyton the ice is all ready to go as uh yeah let's head it down and get ready for that third period ladies and gentlemen it's going to be an exciting one <laughs> Almost forgot to not record this part, <laughs> but welcome everyone back to the uh, the third period here between the Mariners and the Racers. I am just going to take a quick drink of water because I did forget to do that before I started up this period. Mm. Some good H2O it was Jamie Ben. Oh my God, what a chance there as already the offense starting off hot here for the uh the mariners as uh they need to definitely bring up the momentum just a slight little bit man after a kind of a a rough go right off the get-go here for the uh the mariners not starting off too too hot uh, uh in the second period they're laying up some big goals as the reason why it's a one goal deficit as the racers looking to tie the game up and what a fucking hit there by slavin laying it in there to neo uh neo nita rider uh, is that Terravine and he has it now. Oh my Jesus Christ, man. Big hits everywhere right now as Nyquist over to Gossesper. One timer. Oh, and Gustav Nyquist ties the game up after a big hit there uh, from the Mariners. It, it, it swapped to the other side with a big hit on the other side. And then just a beautiful pass from Gossesper over to Nyquist with Nyquist's second goal of the night. He tees that up and gets it past. Uh, oh my god, what a fucking beautiful goal. Like, it was just stellar. I mean, that, how did I... It just went underneath the pad of Ryan Miller. Like, just went underneath the pad. Is That is a tie game now between the Racers and the Mariners. What a game we are having here for you guys tonight, man. What a game. I've just been absolutely loving every moment of it right now as McAvoy gets left. Gosses Bear slap jump at the point. And that just missed there is Slavin over to Dylan Larkin. He has it now. Carrying it up. Looking around. As Larkin. A little bit of a dangle. Nice dangle there. Over to Palmieri looking for his hat trick. And he missed the net by a mile. I think it got poked or something. I think something happened to it because no way that it was him shooting that horribly. And oh my god, what a chance there by Getzloff. What a beautiful pass. Trying to set up Getzloff to give the Racers the first lead of the night. And uh, that was such a good chance. There's Palmieri. Takes a shot. Gibson making a save there as the, uh, the Mariners. They're so, trying so hard to set up uh, Kyle Palmieri for that hat trick right now. They're giving them some nice passes there. Uh, but they're going to change the lineup and get the third line out there, which is a smart idea here for the Mariners. Get that line uh, a switch in. As Fabro over to Fabro. <laughs> They're both the same. Fabro slap shot for the point. And uh, that was missed the net by a, a, a decent bit. As that stays practically in the zone. Picked up by Stetcher. Good forecheck here by the Mariners. But the, uh, the, the Racers, they still get it out. Textier, he has it now. Over to Adam Ernie. Great chance there as Miller was ready for that uh, that shot. But Ernie decides not to shoot it. They're going to wait. Make some nice passes here. It's Ernie. Spins around. Nice shot there. And Miller makes another save there as Texier 
over to Fabro. Fighting for it. Michael Fierland has it now. Carrying it up. 10 minutes left here in the third period. Fierland looking around. Pass over to Nash. Nash, good chance there. Save there by fuck Gibson. As Gibson making some very big saves right now. And he needs to continue that here for the, the racers. As Nyquist. Oh, and he gets absolutely pummeled. My lord. What a big hit there. Sammy Vatten to Neil Ryder. Rebound. Nyquist right in front of there. Oh, and he takes a bad penalty. He takes a tripping penalty. It was a shit show. Right in front of that net. I think Nyquist kind of panicked a bit. He's like, I was so close to that fucking goal. He just decides to take a very bad... That was a stupid penalty there by Nyquist. Yeah, he's shaking his head. That was a terrible penalty there by Nyquist. Spinning around, taking a, a very bad trip in penalty. Something definitely he did not need to do is Dujos gets it out of the zone. And the, the momentum now has to change towards the Mariners. They got to have a good power play here. And they need to get a big goal right now if they don't want to be going to overtime is Larkin he has it now Larkin stop oh and he gets back but he gets taken away and that's all the way down the ice and Palmieri wasn't able to pick that one up before it got all the way down as Palmieri has it he's carrying it up nice pass over to Johnny T he's carrying it looking around terrified a nice chance there and a save there by Gibson with a minute 19 left here on the power play and it's just been it's been a, a dominating showcase here by uh, both teams. I mean, the Racers have really been picking up the slack here in the third period, really performing uh, in this third period. Here is Palmieri over to Ben. Tara Vinem, Palmieri. Oh, one timer, nice save there by Gibson as he chips it out over to Palmieri. Ben has it now. Ben carrying it over. Nice dangle. Ben over to Johnny T. Great chance and another save by John Gibson. After uh, he lit in a couple bad goals throughout the game, he is really. Stepped up as the big man for the Racers right now. Making some very big saves here on this power play with a minute left on it. As uh, the second unit's out there trying to make some sort of a difference. As Ben over to Fabro. Oh my god, that missed the net by just an inch. What a chance there. As Palmieri over to Ben. Back over to Palmieri. Chips it down. Nice chance and another save there by Gibson. He has been making some very big saves, but... I mean, the Mariners, on the other hand, they have been missing the net by a mile. Uh, and it's just been a rough night. I mean, the Mariners, they, they started off the game great, and now they just cannot buy a goal for themselves as that is chipped down all the way down the ice, and that will be picked up by Jamie Benn. He's carrying it. Uh, pass over to Tara Vinem. Pass over to Johnny T. John Tavares has it now. A little bit of a dangle. Nice shot there. Saved there by Gibson. Oh, right in front of the net to Tara Vinem. I just missed the net. As what a chance there as that's picked up by Palmieri. Over to Larkin. Over to Ben. Larkin gets it back to Palmieri. Slap shot from the point. And another glove save by Gibson with nine seconds left here on the power play. And I mean, if the racers kill this off, you know how much momentum the racers are going to have after this? They're going to be a flying out there after this kill. Like, and that's no joke. They're going to be flying out there if they get a goal here. Face-off win for the Racers. Dujos, he's dumped it all the way down the ice. And that will be enough to kill that penalty off. And that is a rough power play here for the Mariners. They were not able. Oh, what a big hit there on Bertuzzo, I think. As Nash uh, being hard there on Gosper, but wasn't able to get the puck. As Neil Niederreiter, he has now the momentum. What a block there. As uh, the momentum Racers, they're looking to try to get a goal. Niederreiter, a good chance there. And Miller... Making a glove save. There's Nyquist was sitting at the doorstep waiting for that juicy rebound. But uh, Miller, he wasn't giving any of it. And McAvoy, big hit there. And I mean, that's the way to, to continue the momentum here for the racers, right? Just keep throwing out that body, man. As I get slaps out there with Brett and Mikhailiev as a face-off win here for the Mariners. Over to Palmieri. Bertuzzo, he has it now. He's carrying it up, looking around. This line's been red hot with Palmieri on it tonight. As Larkin over to Fabro, down to Palmieri, over to Fabro. Bertuzzo, he has it. Oh, and he gets tripped. Another penalty here for the Mariners. Another great opportunity as that puck just gets outside the zone. As uh, regroup, boys. What are you guys doing? Jesus Christ, you're idiots. Palmieri, he has it now. Over to Johnny T. Trot Tavares, great chance. Oh, my God, there was a rebound opportunity. But uh, the Racers player did touch it with a minute 47 left here in the third period. There is a power play opportunity for the Mariners. 
So this is a big chance here for the Mariners. This is near the end of the game, near overtime, and you even get a little bit of power play time going into overtime. Not very much, like a couple seconds, but you do get a little bit of it, and uh, it's a great chance to get a goal to end this game off maybe. As Pedersen, he has now carried up, maybe looking to get a, a shorthanded goal to maybe end things off as Carter up to the point of Dujus. He gets hit. Now, oh, great opportunity here now. John Tavares, he's carrying it up, looking around, and oh, great chance there, and a blocker save there by Gibbs. Oh, Gibson, another great chance. Another one, Dylan Larkin, and another save there by Gibson. Multiple saves there by Gibson. Miller gets this one, leaves it there for his players. Slavin now has it. Pass over to Tara Vinen. Tara Vinen, he's carrying it up with a minute left here in the third period. Slap shot, missed the net. Tara Vinen up to the point to Fearland. One-timer, another save there by um, Gibson. My lord, he's making some big saves right now as Fearland. He has it now, carrying it in. Looking around. Trying to get it to Larkin. Oh, and the puck was bouncing around there in front of the net. But once again, the puck gets cleared with 30 seconds left. Here in the third period, as it's passed over to uh, Tervinen, he gets it back. Tervinen waits. Shot! Oh, and it tricked in! Toivo Tervinen gets a big one with 30 seconds left as the Mariners get back the lead as that gets his third goal of the season there for the Mariners. And what a game here between the Mariners and the Racers tonight, man. It has been an exciting one between these two teams as Tara Vinen, Great opportunity there as he risked that right past him as that is a big goal there for the Mariners. Fucking huge, man. Shot it, went right into the back of the net. I mean, that went fucking top shelf. It got right above Gibson's shoulder and I gotta give it to Gibson. Gibson was playing phenomenal in this third period to shut down every chance the Mariners threw out them and uh, Gibson... He just, he played phenomenal there. Great chance. Pedersen now has it. A little bit of a dangle over to Neo Niederreiter. Great chance there. And that's picked up by Sanheim. Larkin now has it over to Palmieri. Over to Bertuzzo. Pass over to Palmieri. He misses the wide open net, but eight seconds left. The racers looking to generate something over to Pedersen. Oh, and what a fatal mistake. Bad passes. And that will be the ending of this game between the Mariners and the Racers as the Mariners, they take the dub. They take the dub as uh, that means the Mariners will jump into first place. I mean, they won't really until the Cougars uh, play their game to see if they win. But the Mariners do officially hit 10 wins on the season, jumping with three, uh, excuse me, three other teams that have 10 wins on the year. And the Racers, oh my God, excuse me. And the Racers, they take a just a bad loss, man. They played good near the end. Um, but just weren't, weren't able to pull it together and get that dub as they now go to 7, 8, and 3 as uh, the Racers lose this one. Mariners pick up a great win with Toy for Terravine and get the game-winning goal. But I'm going to end things here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios, amigos.